Hey everyone, in this video I'll teach you how to create this cool facade and uh, we'll create this facade by using Dynamo tool. So by using Dynamo tool you can actually put all of these uh, panels randomly so like we have over here. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing uh, when you want to create this type of facade because actually I was uh, I, I was working on my school project and now is the time for facade and I was kind of surfing the net and I came across this uh, this cool facade and the first thing that you need to do is to just get all of the colors from that facade that you want uh, and by using paint <laughs> yeah paint you can kind of uh extract and get all of these colors to your project so how to do something like that uh, let's open up your paint tool so go with paint and then what you can do is to grab uh, the section that has uh, all of the colors that you want to use in your project so i'm going to be using the snipping tool create new and just grab this whitish this bluish and that blue color yeah i think I think that's pretty much it, yeah. Go with copy, no, paste it to your paint, and let's. I have a pen at hand actually, and I'm gonna jot. Uh, uh, I'm gonna jot down all of these colors. So click on this uh, color picker and select the color you want to use, and then go to edit colors, and we have 51. 159 218 uh, the next color will be that will be this whitish color maybe uh, good at it let's put it down okay the next one will be maybe this one Go to edit colors. And maybe I wanna I wanna pick actually this one. This one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next step when you kinda get all of the um, I would say settings for your colors. What you can do is to kind of close it off actually don't save now what you need to do is to go to your uh, Revit, go to families new uh, go to your english conceptual mass metric mass and uh, let's fire up this thing let's wait for a minute yeah so now let's create just a simple line here and uh, something like that select that line go with create form gonna make that as some sort of a wall and uh, the next thing what you can do actually is to uh, how to create how you can create panels you just need to uh, so hover hover over your geometry select it and go with divide surface and here you have your panels uh, uh, actually I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, with the layout of the grid so let's leave leave that as that the next thing is to because that just that divide surface tool uh, just actually divides your surface it it creates some sort of a layout to input in place some panels you need to create one for it so go to for example it's going to be let's select our pattern maybe it's going to be our a rectangle pattern yeah a rectangular pattern so let's go with that one and now what you need to do is to go to file go to new family and let's go with English metric uh, uh, metric uh, and panel pattern based it's gonna be such a simple family you just need to select your you know, reference uh, lines and go with create geometry and uh, let's put a thickness for a 300 so now the most important part because we're going to be creating this in dynamo you need to put a parameter for the material so always keep in mind if you want to use dynamo and uh, you need to understand what kind of a parameters you want uh, to be controlled 
so for example if you want to put some uh, uh, put your panels and have some kind of a random colors for it right uh, you need to create a, 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 a parameter that is gonna that is going to control your material if you want to have a different extrusion so the thickness you need to control your um, for example positive offset in that case so let's create a par parameter for it let's go to new parameter and I'm just gonna call this just M uh, which stands for material and uh, oh, the really important part is to make that as an instance parameter click OK OK uh, you can save yeah of course you need to save this Okay, I'm gonna just place in here material. We're gonna create an M. Okay, load into project. Here you go. Select your uh, not. You need to select your divided surface and go with that M. And here you go. You have your panels. So now uh, we need to create these materials that you want to use. So go to manage. Go to materials. Here, here we can create new material let's kind of rename that for example M, M1 and I'm gonna click in here and let's create a color for it so that is the reason why we used that paint tool to get all of this information about our color so the first one will be now I'm just looking at my note and I'm just taking all of these numbers here yeah okay let's go with duplicate name that like that make sure that you click uh, here duplicate this asset so they, th that will not be the same with that one so click here and uh, change 20 oops Five, four yeah okay Again, go with duplicate. This one will be 128, 163, and 177. Uh, you can create a lot of a lot of of, of actual materials, but I, I I will stick to that to just four. Go with duplicate again four select this one go with color and uh, change the color to 200 230 and 250 oops okay there we go we have our uh, we have four materials so now you can Maybe go and select that one. So what you can do right now is to what you need to do is to select one of your panel. Maybe go with one of the pre, one of the materials that you have created. So now it's time for Dynamo. How to create? How to put all of the panels? So you need to go to your manage. Go with Dynamo. go to new so what do we need to do right now is to go to our actually I'm going to be doing everything and kind of explaining uh, but uh, actually uh, uh, after we uh, once we will create our panels and we'll input all of the information I will walk you through that process again and so what do we need to do right now is type here family family types so as you can see you go with family types and the first thing uh, first things first is to select your family type and here as you can see we have this M Th that is just the name I, I just that is the name that I've created that I've been put for these families so go with M and as you can see we need to in Dynamo it's like uh, you need to find some logic you know if you have created your family types now you need to uh, now you need to have 
kind of a thing that will grab all of these families out of here. So in that case, actually, uh, in that case, I prefer using this uh, rabbit. I go to rabbit, go to selection. And here, as you can see, we have the option to get all elements of family type. So as you can see here, we have created our family type and we need to um, kind of connect our family type to the family type. So here we can grab all of this information and now you can see all of your panels that you have. Uh, after you have, once you, you have created this part, you need to, as you can see, we go from family type to family type. Now we need to go to elements or where you can find these elements. So here you can click on elements. You can find elements here. And uh, let's look for, and not that one, set parameter by name. So here we have element, parameter name, and value. So our element is going to be, our element is all of these panels. So we will connect these two. Our parameter name, you can go to your Revit and kind of double click, double click over here. And as you can see, our parameter uh, is called M. So let's just go to Dynamo. Oops, let's go to Dynamo and double click for the co uh, code block and put here M. Uh, but actually, what, it, uh, what do you need to do to actually to put this science? Yeah, like that. Go with parameter. And now you need to create a value. So what is the value? In our case, our value is a material. So to kind of connect a material to that value, you need to create a command that will be controlling that material. So go type here material. Oops, uh, material. You have material by name. As you can see, you have this plus sign. It means that that will generate, that will create something. So go with material. And now you want to uh, kind of input some name over here. So double click over here. Uh, open up and by using your uh, square brackets actually oops, by using square brackets you need to create you need to input all of the uh, names of your materials in our case as you can see we have created m1 m2 m3 m4 so let's input all of this information m1 oops M2, M3, M4, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it works actually. You can check this out. So as you can see here, we have all of your materials. We have a list of our materials. Now connect these to your material. And now actually, if I just connect these parts and uh, check this manual, if we connect this, uh, this R material to our value and kind of create something like that and just go with run. As you can see what will happen, you will just have four panels because we have just, uh, because we have just the material and we have four materials over here. What you want to do right now is to create a list a cycle. So how to create something like that? Let's type here cycle have your cycle, list cycle. And here what you can do is to, uh, you can drag all that list that you have over here. So you have a list of four materials and uh, here you can input some amount. So let's right click and type here number. Uh, you can go with a number slider, but I wanna go, let's even type sli oops, slider, what is that? Okay, so, uh, and I'm going to go with integer slider. And uh, here, as you can see, we can control uh, the numbers of it. So you can even input some uh, minimum or maximum. So let's go with 80 is going to be our minimum. And uh, if we connect these parts here, and uh, now what we need to do is to uh, create a shuffle for it so let's type the shuffle i just i'll show you what, what will happen 
and uh, now actually yeah we're gonna put it all of the information from the energy slider go to the material I want to see if that is working and go with you need to run to see all of the yeah there we go and uh, actually as you can see right now I want to explain everything uh, so we have our material here and we just got four of them we just got one list of four materials to make that to make a lot of them you need to use this list cycle tool so you go you connect this list this material to that list cycle and then you input some numbers so here as you can see you have uh, 320 materials why is that because here we've got four materials our energy slider uh, was uh, put to 80 so 4 multiplied by 80 is going to be 320 right and uh, if I uh, crank this up to maybe 90 and uh, see what is going on here and uh, go with run as you can see oops as you can see uh, you can determine how you want to put your uh, panels in terms of materials and also this number increased so that is the whole point but uh, you need to use a shuffle so um, let me show you what happens if I just connect this to here actually we just have one pattern and uh, if I oops if I change our number so for example to maybe 83 and go with run nothing is changing the reason for that because it has some sort of a hierarchy here it has uh, just uh, a sequence of materials right but what shuffle does is that that put them in the uh, they kind of input them randomly all of these materials so if you kind of select that one and go to your list uh, actually you need to go with run also so go with actually as you can see here go with run and uh, you can see that uh, it doesn't have any sort of a hierarchy just create them randomly so if you compare these two parts so just try it out try to create your own materials look for some cool facades and just uh, create them that would be a really useful tool so actually uh, that's how you can and you can maybe change that to realistic oops that's not looking good <laughs> actually you can work on that and create some things oh yeah that's that is looking that, that looks perfect and uh, so uh, that's it for today if you if you find that video useful uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, if you have any kind of suggestions you can leave them in the comment section below and uh, have a nice day